Hello, good morning viewers. Today we are going to look on to how to solve differential equations by the separation of variables. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to share and hit the like button. In our previous lesson, you have seen that we solve different differential equations in the form of dy over dx equals to some certain function of x. In this case, all we have to do in order to solve this differential equation is to integrate both sides. But sometimes, our differential equation may seem to appear in the form of f of x and y, which is the multivariables. So because of the function of y to the right-hand side, we cannot apply integration directly, but we have to separate these variables, connect x with dx and y with dy. And suppose we have a differential equation in the form of dy over dx equal to some function of x multiplying another function of y. These are different functions that we have to separate. We are going to connect f of x with dx, dy with g of y. To do that, we multiply both sides by dx. And at the same time, we divide both sides by g of y. So we divide by g of y. And we do the same here. This will cancel this, and this will cancel this. Therefore, we end up having dy over g of y equals f of x dx. Hence, we can go directly and apply our integration to the both sides in order to find the general solution for this differential equation. So now let us look on to some problems. Uh, so this is the first problem we have on the board, which is in the form of dy over dx equal to 2x divided by y plus 1. We cannot go directly and apply our integration, but we have to separate these variables. Now we are going to take dx to the right-hand side and bring y plus 1 to the left-hand side. So we have y plus 1 dy, if it comes to this side, this is equal to 2x, then dx, if dx go to the right-hand side. So now we are free to integrate this equation. We integrate this side, we also have to integrate the other side. So we are going to integrate this independently for y we have y squared over 2 plus if you integrate 1 with respect to y, you're going to obtain just y. And to the other side, you know the power of x will increase by 1, which is going to be 2, then divide by 2. 2 will cancel to leaving only x squared plus our constant of integration. And you can multiply each time by 2 in order to clear the fraction so that we have y squared plus 2y equals 2x squared plus 2c, but multiplying constant with constant is still constant, so we have c. So this is our general solution for this differential equation. Now let us look on to another one. Here is our next question, dy then we bring this one backward over 1 plus y. And this is equal to 1 plus x. Then we take dx to the right-hand side. We have dx. Now we integrate both sides of this equation. If you integrate this, you are going to obtain the natural log of the absolute value of 1 plus y. And to the right-hand side, we have this equal to x and this equals to x squared over 2 plus the constant of integration. So this is the general solution for this differential equation. Let's look on to another one. Uh, this is another question. Now we have dy over dx equal to 1 plus y over 2 plus x. To separate these variables, we are going to take dx to the right-hand side and bring 1 plus y to the left-hand side. So we have dy, if you bring this one backward, it becomes 1 plus y. This is equal to, you take this one to the right-hand side, it becomes dx, 
over 2 plus x. Now we are going to integrate both sides of this equation. If you integrate this, you are going to obtain the natural log of the absolute value of 1 plus y. This is equal to, again, if you integrate this, you are going to obtain natural log of absolute value of 2 plus x plus constant of integration. Having a natural log in an equation is not a problem because so many natural logs can be differentiated. But to get rid of this natural log, you can even uh, take the natural log of c for convenience. So we have ln c. So that natural log of 1 plus y will now be equal to Using laws of logarithm, you can transform these two terms to have a single log. This is equal to the natural log of c, absolute value of 2 plus, plus x. Since we have common log to both sides, we can cancel each. So we have this, cancel this. Finally, we have 1 plus y equals c times 2 plus x. Therefore, we say this is the general solution for this differential equation. And this is our next problem. But if you look at these functions, they are entirely mixed up. So let us factorize them. So we have dy over dx. And this is equal to, uh, from these two terms, we have y squared in common. So we have y squared outside. But inside, we have 1 plus x. On the denominator, we have x squared in common, so we have x squared. In bracket, we have y minus 1. Now we want to separate the variables. Let me multiply the x first. We have the x. Let me divide by y squared, so we have y squared. We have y squared, so that this will cancel this. This will cancel this. We have dy over y squared. This is equal to 1 plus x dx over <coughs> x squared y minus 1. We still have y minus 1 to the right hand side. Therefore, we are going to multiply both sides by y minus 1. So we have y minus 1 and the y minus 1, so that this will cancel this. Finally, we have y minus 1 over y squared dy. And to the right hand side, we have 1 plus x over x squared dx. Let us further reduce this. y over y squared will be 1 over y, and negative 1 over y squared will remain negative 1 over y squared. The whole of this dy, and this is equal to, to the right hand side, we have 1 over x squared, 1 over x squared, and we have x over x squared, which is going to be 1 over x, all dx. Now we are free to integrate both sides. We integrate this side, and we integrate the other side. If you integrate 1 over y, you're going to obtain a natural log of y. If you integrate this, you know uh, this is a fraction. This is the same thing as y to the power of negative 2. If you add 1 to the negative 2, you're going to obtain negative 1. And if you divide by negative 1, it will change this to positive. So we have 1 over y. To the other side, we have negative 1 over x. If you integrate this, plus the natural log of x plus constant of integration. So this is our general solution for this differential equation. Now let us look on to another one. This is our next question. Again, we have to separate the variables. So we have 1 over 
y squared minus 1 dy to the left hand side and to the right hand side we have 1 over x dx. Integrate this side, integrate the other side. But y squared minus 1 can be factorized so we have which is a difference of two squares is going to be y minus 1 y plus 1 and to the other side we have the integral of 1 over x is just natural log of x we are not done with this yet to find the integral of 1 over this function let us split this into partial fraction uh, it is going to be the integral of two times the first one is going to be y minus 1 then y plus 1 using Cobalt method this is y minus 1 which is this to transform y minus 1 into 0 y must be equal to 1 which is 1 minus 1 equal to 0 so we are going to substitute it here if y is 1 we have 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 and here we have only 1 so we have 1 2 then to the other side we have y plus 1 and this is our y plus 1 to transform this into 0 we have to set y to be equal to negative 1 negative 1 plus positive 1 is 0 so we are going to substitute it here negative 1 negative 1 is going to be negative 2 so we have 1 negative 2 so this is what we have to integrate with respect to dy the whole of this with respect to dy and this is equal to the natural log of x we are going to integrate them independently for this we have if you integrate this you're going to obtain 1 over 2 already we have 1 over 2 you can factor it out then if you integrate 1 over y minus 1 you're going to obtain uh, the natural log of y minus 1 so we have natural log of y minus 1 minus this one too it has 1 over 2 as factored the natural log of y plus 1 and to the other side we have natural log of x plus our constant of integration this is our general solution but if you want to get rid of the natural logs you can do that by connecting the logs together so we have one half in common so we have one over two the natural log of y minus one divided by y plus one and to the other side if you set our constant to be a natural constant and connect the two together you are going to obtain natural log of cx from the law of logarithms and this term can take a power of half so we have natural log of y minus 1 over y plus 1 to the power of 1 over 2 this is equal to the natural log of cx so both times have natural log in common so they cancel out but you can take this power to the right hand side which is going to make it squared so from the left hand side we have y minus 1 over y plus 1 and this is equal to cx squared a constant doesn't have to take the power because constant squared is still constant you can even clear the fraction by multiplying both times by y plus 1. So we have from the left hand side y minus 1 and this is equal to um, cx squared times y plus 1. Therefore we have obtained the general solution for this differential equation. So now let us look on to the next question. This is our next question. Again, first of all, let us take dx to the right hand side so that we have x, y, dy. And to the other side, we have x squared plus 1, 
dx over y plus 1. Now let us bring this one backward. If y plus 1 comes to the left hand side, it will multiply. And we have y here. So we have y times y plus 1. And we are taking x to the right hand side, but we still have dy here. This is equal to if x crosses over, it will divide. So we have x squared plus 1 over x. And this is our dx. Let us further simplify. This time, this is going to make it y squared plus y, all dy. And this is equal to this divided by this is x. And 1 divided by x is 1 over x, all dx. Now we are free to integrate both sides of this equation. For this, we are going to have y to the power of 3 over 3 plus y squared over 2. And this is equal to, to the right hand side we have this is going to make it x squared over 2 plus, if you integrate this, you're going to obtain the natural log of x and plus our constant of integration. If you like, you can reduce the fraction. If you like, you can leave your answer this form. This is the general solution for this differential equation. Now let us look on to the last question. All right, this is our last question for today. Again, let us factorize this side. So we have y in common between the two terms. First term remain one, plus the second term remain x. And here we have x dy over dx. Again, let's take this dx to the other side and bring y to this side. So we have x dy over y because y is coming backward. It is multiplying here, therefore it is going to divide the other side. This is dividing here, it is going to multiply the other side. So we have 1 plus x dx. We still have x to the left hand side, which we are going to take over. So we have dy, o, we say 1 over y, dy is all the same. This is equal to, x is going to divide this time, let us do it directly. We have 1 over x, plus x divided by x is going to make it 1, all dx. Now we are free to integrate. Integrate in this side, integrate in the other side. From here, we have natural log of y. This is equal to, this is the same thing as natural log of x. And this is going to be x plus constant of integration. This is enough to be our general solution. But if you like, you can manipulate this um, natural logarithm. By bringing this one backward, we have natural log of y minus natural log of x. And to the right hand side, we have x plus c. These two terms have common log, so we can match the logs together so that our new log become natural log of y divided by x because of subtraction. And to the other side, we have x plus c. If you like, you can leave your answer in this form, and you can equally remove this uh, natural log. And to do that, we are going to take the exponential of both sides of this equation so that this will cancel this automatically, leaving y over x. And this is equal to, if you apply indices law, this is going to make it exponential x times exponential c. But exponential c is still constant, which you can replace with another constant. So we have y over x equals to, you can replace this with k, so that we have k exponential x. y again, if you multiply both sides by x, we are going to have kx exponential x, which is our general solution for this differential equation. So thank you for watching and do have a nice day.